All right, so we're gonna attempt to play some Bioshock Infinite on our uh, Sempron 3850 build. Uh, I don't know where I left off last, so we're just gonna continue. Um, so to achieve any type of okay frame rate per se, I had to change the resolution to 640 by 480, which means that the ratio is a four by three. Um. With that being said, a 4x3 ratio obviously isn't the best looking, but for right now it looks like it's getting around 30 FPS, um, which is <clears throat> playable considering most consoles get around 30 FPS. So, But that's with recording. I'm getting about 100 FPS uh, game-wise, like playing. I'm seeing like 110, 104, 108. It's skipping through. So, hopefully, gameplay itself will be higher than 30 FPS. I mean, this is with the lowest setting, 640 by 480. In 720p, it was not enough. Okay, so, gameplay-wise, I'm getting 31 FPS once I'm in-game. Going up to, oh, just hit 51. Oh, finally hit 60. But it's now dipping back down to about 40, 41-ish. Um, with that being said, I mean, it's not too bad. We'll see what happens. Uh, let me, I want to change the audio. I don't want any copyright issues to be happening. Alright, there we go. Turn on the audio. Same game. And when I look around, it looks like it dips down well, about 1 FPS, which isn't bad. I mean, it's constant. Around 30 recording wise. Uh, video wise, I'm getting about 50 right now. Up into the mid 50s. But it, it seems like it's staying above 30 steady at the lowest 30 uh, the lowest settings. When I look all the way over here, I'm getting around 70 FPS, but that's because there's nothing loading, I suppose. <coughs> all right, now I'm finally hitting like high 39s. Still staying above 30 though, which is very good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get off the boat. I have to climb the ladder. I've never played this on PC controls, so. Oh, got down a little bit to like 46, but. Oh, what the heck? Alright, we're gonna just keep going with that. Cool, so. We're still seeing a little over 30 FPS, around 40. Um, knock on the door. Now I'm at around 50 FPS. So we're still seeing some decent frame rate, uh, 41, 37, it's still playable, um, over 60 right up there, so in search container, search the cabinet, oh, take all, so you could definitely play it, it seems like, um, Bioshock Infinite isn't very graphic or really, um, CPU intensive, um, Considering it's holding its own, I mean, I'm at like 50, 50 FPS, which is definitely more than playable. It looks like shit, but it's playable. So if you definitely wanted to, you know, build this PC for $200, $300 or whatever and play a little bit of games on your media PC, you could. Because I just saw a frame rate of like 77, I think. So, but it's, it's mainly, it looks like it's mainly hovering around uh, like 30 to 40. I forget how I have to do it. Okay, so it's... Boom. Oh, we just got down to 29 for the first time, it looks like. Opie the dough. Oh, around 36 we got down to there. So I'd say it's around an average of like 39, 40 FPS. That's with recording. Um... I gotta have my phone going off mid-video. Um, hmm. I don't really remember what you're supposed to do here. Around. That took, like, forever to get to. Oh, give me that shit in the barrel. Alright. So, yeah, so it's hovering around 40 FPS, it looks like. Alright, um... Go to options. Okay, we're gonna turn up the master volume a little bit so I can at least understand what's going on. 
Oh wow. Oh, so 45 FPS, 47. Bad. All right, so I guess I'll sit down. Uh, it's still around mid 40s to low 50s. All right, so. There's a decent amount of screen tearing going on. I'm not too sure why. Oh, down to 41 area. Oh, there goes my pistol. Well, that's not helpful. Oh, someone's got some wicked gas. Let's see what happens when I send. All right. Oh, 67 FPS, 68 FPS, 63, 66, 58, 56. Oh, got down to 43 there. Oh, 30, 26 there. Got down to 26. Oh, 18 FPS. So the minimum so far would be 18 FPS. Um, but it looked like with just hovering, it's mid 40s. So that's not too bad, I suppose. Um, so high 30s, mid 40s. It's definitely not bad. But I definitely want to go a little further in it to find out what it's really going to reveal once I end up getting into like actual true quote unquote gameplay. Oh, we're on 34 FPS, 33, 32, 31. Still saying relatively playable. It went down to 28 there. The lowest so far is 18, I think I saw. 18 or 16. Oh. I mean, it's still, like I said, it's still highly playable. If you can handle some light frame dips while gaming and, and you know, uh, low settings, you could definitely play Bioshock Infinite on this Sempron 3850 based uh, this APU build. I mean, now I'm hitting 60, 63, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's fluctuating a lot, but it's, it's generally staying above 30. And it's not like major hits. I mean, from what I saw, obviously when we get a little further into the gameplay, it may jump a little more, but from what I see, it isn't jumping from like 60 to 22. Um, it's doing gradual hits, which is really good because... You can play a game 35 FPS and enjoy it. You can't play a game jumping from 60 to 20 every other 5 minutes and enjoy it. Alright, so we're getting around 37 right now FPS on the lowest settings. Um, nothing really I'm noticing too bad about it. It's still 38. How about we run? Yeah, dip down to 28, but it's still pretty fluid. It's not too bad. 40 FPS. Hmm. So it's, it's mainly staying around 38, but now it just jumped up to 53. Oh, now it's back down to 29. So it's very, it, very fluctuating, but it looks like no matter how hard I push it, it's still staying close to 30, which is perfectly fine. I guess I'll enter the circle real quick. Faggots, get out of my way. Nobody likes you. What's up, homie? Yeah, so... I don't know. I feel like we'll go a little further in it. And we'll see. Because this game can be very tricky. I mean... From what I see, it looks like it's only going to be... Uh, it's going to be around mid-30s average. Which is highly playable. It's actually a lot more playable than I thought it was going to be. I thought we may get... You know, 20 FPS average. It looks like we're getting about 10 more FPS than I expected. This is its stock clock, too. No overclock, no nothing. This is as if you bought it from the store and just started playing on it. So I'm still maintaining over 30 FPS. I'm around 43. With it being over the 40s most of the time, and going up to the 60s, I'd say the average FPS is around 45, 47-ish. Uh, 
I mean, it's going all the way up to like 60s, low 70s at times. Like right now, we're hitting like mid 60s. So I think in a minute we're going to conclude this uh, video because it looks like we're getting a constant over 30 FPS for the most part. We're only seeing 28 FPS I think like once or twice. Uh, went down to 27. I think the lowest we saw was 18. With that being said, I think it's pretty much safe to assume that Bioshock Infinite is definitely playable on this uh, Sempron 3850. But I guess then uh, we'll you know say that it is but I guess it also to determine when major action goes on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop recording for now and I'm going to come back when I'm into some more of an action based type gameplay alright so we've gotten to a little bit more of a uh, a little bit more active area where I'm seeing around 20 to 30 FPS. It has dipped down to about 13 FPS, I believe, um, which isn't too bad if you ask me. Um, I mean, it isn't. 13 is definitely a noticeable dip, especially since it jumped down from like I don't know. I'd say 30 to 13, so it's definitely noticeable. Um, yeah, it was noticeable of a dip, but it wasn't too, too bad, given the price of this processor. And I am seeing a lot of loading screens. Now, that may be from, you know, hard drive related, because this drive is a little older. Um, not necessarily processor related. I'm having an issue f locating where I have to go. I forget where I have to go. Um, but point is, is that... Uh, I have seen lower frame rates, but it isn't too, too bad. Mainly 13 FPS. Um, oh, there we go. This is the way we got to go. See how bad it gets here. Alright, so it's still not too bad. I'm just standing around 30 now. So around 30 FPS, but it, like I said, it did dip down to 13, so then now the minimum is 13. The false shepherd. That's still still above thirty, not bad. Staying good. Not bad.
So it's still staying above. Not the greatest FPS, but it's still staying above like 25, 26 FPS. Um, so I guess this is where we can conclude the, you know, the testing. It stayed for the most part above 20 FPS. Um, there's a few dips down to 18 and 13, but right now it's hitting 30 FPS. And so, so with that being said, it's not really a uh, really take much to run it. Yeah, now we're into the 40s, so with that being said, it's definitely able to run Bioshock Infinite if you don't mind a few frame dips and the uh, low graphic settings. So, this is the Counter Coalition Gaming Video. Please stay tuned for more videos of the Sampon 3850 series as I recently have taken it back on. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.